Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So guys, I wasn't even going to do a reading this morning. I even actually went back to bed for 30 minutes because I'm just not feeling it this morning. I tried to do a little happy video earlier talking about Mel Robbins. And as we get older, I went back to bed for 30 minutes and I woke up and I'm like, I know I have a long trip I have to make today with one of my clients and I'm just not feeling it. But I decided to do a drop reading, and oh my God. <laughs> I mean, these are becoming my favorite readings, where I just take all the runes and just dump them out and see what we got, and I start from the top, work my way down. And then as I was going to put them back in again, a couple of more popped out, and I'm like, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I'm seeing this. I'm looking at it, and I'm going, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> what we have overall is we have Burka. <coughs> and this is the energy for everybody. Everybody's going through some kind of a birth, okay? Which is positive, right? We're going through some kind of rebirth. We're going through some kind of, um, you know, um, with this second moon coming up this month and the, the portal that we just went through, everybody's going to find that they're that on some level, some part of your life is going through a rebirth, okay? Which is a good thing. It means you're getting rid of some old negativity. You're pulling in some new stuff. Some new stuff's coming to you, okay? So that's a good thing, folks. Then we've got Anzu, which is some kind of information coming to you. And... It can be good information or bad information, okay? And the reason why I say that is, you know, um, it might also have something to do with some kind of schooling, but it's signals. It has to do with the universe telling you something or maybe a person bringing you some kind of information, and it stops you in your tracks. <laughs> That's exactly what I got with this, which, you know, ISA can be standing still to listen to your intuition. It can also be a doorway of, of it... Um, you know, bringing something in, okay? But it can also mean that, you know, it stops you in your tracks, all right? The reason why I say this, it's not so much of a bad thing because then we have, we have Nautis, which is relief from distress. So Nautis always, to me, always, it, it's, it's like crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. Can you see that? See that? Okay, but so, you know how sometimes you're like, well, if this comes through, let's just keep our fingers crossed that this is what happens. And it always makes you, you know, kind of like with bated breath, you kind of like hold your breath, right? So that's what it's telling me this morning is that, you know, whatever this information is, it makes you freeze. It's going to bring relief from stress. Okay. And then we have Gibu, which Gibu is a gift. It can be some kind of new gift coming in, or it can be a partnership, or a partnership between you and someone else, or a partnership, um, a reinforcement of a partner partnership between you and the divine. Okay, so it's just going to depend on the person. That this can mean because of what we have here, this gift can be where somebody else is going to help you out where the divine's going to help you out or you're having a new gift of your own come in that, you know, that it's just going to depend for every person it's going to be different, all right? Then we're going to have some kind of a tower moment that is going to be a test of character for you that after it, you're going to be better in some way. And this, this to me is talking about an event. So that's after all this other stuff comes out, goes out, okay, or happens, all right? Now, this is the interesting thing. Below that, on the some minor energies, we have um, humanity, manis, going from the microchism to the macrochism. So this, and then we have tribe. So this is something that's going to affect quite a few people, okay? And, and that's why I was saying this is birth that's affecting all of us in overall energy. Because, you know, this is the room for mankind. And I don't know if it's going to pick it up or not, guys. And it's probably not going to pick it up straight. But this is the room that's on the back of my neck. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'll see it when I get, get done doing the video. Because that's my birth initials all into one room. Because this is an M, has an M in it, an E, and an L. So this can also be a bind room. But... At any rate, this is talking about people and tribe, okay? So, this is going to be more than one person. This is, this, 
may not resonate for everybody right now, but because we have Jera going into the future, at some point in time, anyone that picks up and sees this message, rather it be now, a month in the future, or six months in the future, whenever you come across this reading, it's you, you are going to find out at some point in time, it either has to do with you, someone you know, or someone you know you're talking to about something and they mention something and then you go, hey, hey, that reminds me of that rune reading. This is going to affect more people. This is definitely a reading that is at some point in time, it's going to affect you. Um, and guys, I've been, my rune readings have been changing just like this. They have been changing like this. They have been, they have been, um, they have been becoming bigger, affecting more people, which is what my instincts have been telling me and what I have been picking up on going into the future. Like at the beginning of this month, I started just picking up on some different energies and now it seems like my ring rings are talking about more people and more people and more people, which means even if I don't always know exactly what it is I'm feeling, it, it, it bears out to end up being true, which just like this reading here, I've been feeling like there's more things going to affect more people. And the more it's funny, guys, the more things I learn about, the more it's like my not my my intuition is going from like this to this th I mean it's just getting bigger and broader and affecting and reaching out and going out guys my soul is growing that is for damn sure whoever sees this reading like when it first starts talking about birth I always think it's talking about one person but as I started going through this reading and seeing all the other things with the tribe rune the mankind rune going into the future this just tells me more people are going to be affecting be feeling this or affected by this you know we're all going through some kind of a birth right now and guys I'm just telling you right now I don't know who all this is, message is going to reach right now, but at some time in the future, someone's going to see this and it's going to resonate for their butt. I'm just saying, guys. <coughs> this to me is just a. <clears throat> just a huge birth type reading. The other thing I'm now picking up, too, by looking over the whole thing, it's just going to affect more people. More people are going to be getting some kind of messages. That's definitely going to freak them out. I think, guys, after this next new moon, after this next full moon, this blue moon this month, I think... A lot of people are going to go through some major awakenings again. Cindy is at, at, at Awakening to Spirit was talking about some major energies coming through that she wasn't sure that were really freaking her out. Well, guys, I think I'm now, I was already picking up on some of the energy she was talking about, but I think I'm even picking up more on it right now. Also, Eve from Everlong Mystic was talking about, um, was it a Virgo reading she did? She Oh, she, yeah, she picked up on a... She did a Virgo reading yesterday, and she said something along the lines of um, some kind of information coming in that you're not supposed to know yet. And then I did a rune reading later on that day, and I posted it. I posted it yesterday, guys, so y'all can go look at it. And if you go look at Eve's reading, her reading came out before mine did, but mine kind of like... After I looked at her reading, I picked up on some more energy that said, even if you don't know what it is, your soul is going to know. Your soul is going to know. on a high, Your higher level of consciousness is going to know. Okay? So, some kind of information coming in for everybody, guys. I don't think it's just different zodiac signs. And um, I kind of, I tend to stay away from the zodiac signs. Because I want my messages to be for whoever needs them. I don't want to just go by zodiac signs. Because, you know, they say you have all the zodiac signs in your chart. Now, I have everything in my chart, too. But I have no planets whatsoever in Pisces, which is the watery psychic energy stuff. Which I think is why 
I'm just a dry person. <laughs> I just think that um, I, you know, because I have a lot of earth, I have, I have, I have air, and I have um, fire. You know, I have, I have. Um, I'm, I'm Leo, Virgo cusp with Libra moon rising, and there you got your earth, air, and your fire. I don't have no real water in there. So at any rate, guys, um, I just. You know, Dolores Cannon said something, too, along those lines about how your soul is always absorbing and recording every single thing through your whole life. And somewhere they are recording it on the and the Akashic Records. She talked about that in a video. Of course, you know, Dolores Cannon's passed on now. But, guys, I just recently found her, like like uh, last year and kind of started looking at her a little bit here and there and a lot of what she says makes so much damn sense to me and if it doesn't make sense to me on some kind of a level guys I can't assimilate it because of my ADHD I don't know if it's my ADHD which they told me one time that, that I have that for a reason so that my gifts come in when they are needed and I believe that to be true I think everyone that has any kind of a, of a disability um, but yet you, you still cognate, you can still work and still do and take care of yourself. That has someone having to take care of you. I think that it's sometimes it's for a reason. It is because they want you not to understand some things until they are ready for you to. Does that make sense? So, guys, this reading... It is what it is. Um, I just, I mean, I threw the runes down and I was just like, Wow. <laughs> Because, you know, overall here we've got birth. And um, and then I start having to lay them out, guys, the way they, the way they, I say they tell me to. But I have to lay them out in a certain way so that they, they end up making sense. Because you've got your, like, your, your overall, uh, sometimes I have an overall energy in this, uh, and then sometimes I have a uh, major energies, and then minor energies, and then sometimes these runes, the way they play out, is they'll tell me about something going on now, and then they'll tell me something like this, where they say, but it doesn't apply right now, you know what I mean, or it has to do with this, this, and this, you know, it just depends on how they come out, and Whereas, right, when I get this birth, it seems like a singular thing. But then when I get this, this is this is for everybody. This is for a lot more people. It's just for a lot more people. So whenever you find this reading, if it resonates, people, uh, it may not resonate for you right now. It may resonate at a later date. Take what feels resonates for you, you know. Um, but at some point in time, I just feel like, I just feel like more people are going to look at, find this and go, Wow, that makes so much sense. All right, guys, this is what I got this morning. I've got to go get ready to get the hell out of here. I've got a long day ahead of me. I almost didn't do this reading. Um, but this is, to me, it's just a huge message. All right, guys. Man, it's got Lighthouse. Guys, be a light in the darkness. If you can help someone today, help someone. Um, if you can help yourself, help yourself. You know, um, there's a reason why we're all here. There's, um, there's, there, there's, there, things, things are just, they're just starting to shift and change for all of us. All right. Lana Scott Lighthouse.